Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School, the comic school I never had, the comic school we are creating so that comics are not dying out. I follow a music channel uh, made by Rick Beato and the guy was in the music industry and a lot of good stuff um, has gone lost in the past 20 years of digital music and as I see, see it um, a lot of uh, things that have worked for like this looks like a comic from the 70s 80s 90s um, and they figured comic out they figured comic out from the 50s to the 90s sure it was up and it was a down and they were trying new stuff and today I want to talk to you about inking inking uh, the Marvel way but I have also here another book on uh, inking by Gary Martin and today not to ramble about it I try to keep this short and focused um, we're gonna take a look at the arc of art of inking why you should ink and what's the benefit of it so um, right away when you pencil a comic page there are many ways to pencil a comic page um, you could either do it I don't know just look it up maybe I will link it down below or maybe we'll see um, different stuff like um, when you start, let's say this was a page from Joe Maderera and he pencils, he first lays down blue lines and then he lays down pencils. There are many ways we will go into this soon. And then it could be, or they used to pencil like this, like Jack Kirby used to uh, pencil a page and lay out the page and then Todd McFarlane, for example, once was told okay ink over it and so you take um, black ink or a black pen this is not a pen used to ink but let's say we paint over this as as cool as we can do it as closely as tight as we can with black pen somewhere I got a Wolverine where's the Wolverine um, yeah and then it turns like this is scary we and then it turns from as you can see this is this was made with blue lines and then you start painting over it uh, with markers or with pens or something like that and let's say you're Mike Mignola and uh, you penciled you planned beforehand we will come to that you planned beforehand the thumbnails and um, then you're putting in the pencils and as tightly as you can and then you go over it with a black pen let's say for example that and then um, yeah that and that is a big big freaking art to do that because there are some rules to it as you can see here um, where the light hits the line is very thin and where there's shadow it's very thick and this gives a two-dimensional drawing a three-dimensional look you ca this is called um, line weight and why this matters and how I came to buy this um, sure I rumble on but that's what it needs to be in 2014 I was drawing barbarian comic uh, barbarian adventure and this is not good but uh, just for example and I was drawing in all my lines as you can see this was digital drawing I was penciling or layouting uh, on paper and then I was scanning my pages the pencils as uh, pencils like this but not as tight I was scanning pencils like this and I was making uh, red angles in Photoshop and then I took a brush and 
I drew over it. And this is the best I could come up with. And this is a, a remastered version because this is already the inked version. The other version looked very flat because I show you in a second. I was just um, I was just drawing with one uh, with just just this, these lines, and I was also doing it digitally. And then, as you can see, as time goes on. I tried different brushes. I tried, this is a very thick digital brush and so I'm changing the look of my drawing as you can see here. Look at this. Like it's a complete different drawing and then I zoomed in and I drew the fingers with the same brush but it's a complete different look like and I was drawing it, uh, I was changing it up constantly and as you can see here this is the next page, this is the previous page, a thick brush, digital brush and then here I am with a thinner brush and it looks totally different but you can see it's digitally, my lines are very crude but um, I'm trying to do my best and to get this done somehow with, with the limited uh, understanding I had but I was, I was kind of understanding that you need line weight and we will come to this. It's also a small view of the book like Inking with Klaus Janssen. This book is very um, affordable and co comprehensive. Um, this uh, Gary Martin and Steve Root I bought also. I don't know maybe it was a bit uh, more expensive. I also read it. It was also very great and now we'll go to this. To this. And before we start here, again, I'm rambling on, I can't do one single good video, but as you can see, like we have here, a barbarian flying through air, inked with markers, not really inked good, but the best I could do it. And as you can see here, these are the pencils for uh, a poster I wanted to do, and as you can see, this, I guess, is the ink piece, but as you can see, there are blue lines. And why I use the blue lines, um, we will come to that in a second. Well, the second is now. I used to do the pencil approach, like I used to pencil this, this way, and then to scan it with my 50 euro scanner. And it's totally fine, like you don't need a more expensive one. And if you need uh, a A3 scanner, there is one for 200 euros. Um, we will talk, just ask me about that. But I used to scan this and then put it uh, in Photoshop and make blues out of this, a blue pencil lines, print it out and then ink that. And once I did it for a band, for this band here, but um, I screwed up the blue pencils they were too too dark and so when I did a finished art piece it it was a bit grainy and so from that on I didn't like the the penciling and printing out approach but yeah let's say you have an original penciled artwork and then you scan this and then you print it out and you paint over that. But I kind of felt that it was a bit lifeless, but there, there are many ways you can go. So my new approach for me personally is I lay it out, then I put in uh, the blue pencils underneath that, as you can see, and then I start to shape it with my inks. And I'm also, uh, I want to make you aware what inking is like uh, on the top it's always uh, a bit smaller and down it should be also a bit darker so you have always um, yeah how do you say it line weight and why that is so important so Klaus Janssen has made a really good book about this and he talks about paper he talks about brushes, 
he talks about everything you need to know um, I use mostly markers he sorry for the bad he, he talks about all the tools you need and why you need to ink it and um, as you will see wait a second yeah he's, he's showing different approaches everybody inks different um, as you can see different styles and as you can see your your drawing gets life like you separate like black and white it's already it's already amazing and if you use let's say simple col coloring like they used to it immediately looks really great like in black and white or with some simple yellows or a brown like this drawing is already complete and this is from the dark knight rises uh, inked by klaus jansen and as you can see here down here it's you see this this thicker ink line is like indicates that down there it's dark and down here it's a bit lighter it's 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 implicates where the light hits it and where it doesn't hit can you see the visor like inside the visor there's a thick brush line and then underneath it it's, it's a smaller one and it indicates with the line weight where the light hits it and where it doesn't and um, this is what you learn in this book and he will go into different different inkers and how they do it and why you should do it let me see where it is with the then it shows b and before you ink you should uh, learn to pencil um, but yeah don't get discouraged just do it and I would say a lot of people in the past 20 years like have started to uh, ink digitally but I think a lot of a lot of uh, good things have have gone um, a lot of knowledge and feeling has been lost and so I feel we have to return to that um, well I'm not getting to the lesson but it is here and then he shows how he inks I don't know well just check it out it's a good thing um, Klaus Jan Janssen inking comics and then this book is also a great book inking by Gary Martin I can show you here like he shows you let's say we draw a rubble and then there's a million ways to ink this and as you can see each one looks amazing and this is what inking then is and it's tons of fun and it's tons of fun because you're also feeling the shape of the thing you're inking look at this and look at this it's totally different but also amazing and I promise you this is much more fun than do it it's, mm, it digitally but whatever suits you or floats your boat do it that way like um, don't be discouraged just because I say something uh, like that doesn't mean anything um, do it the way you want to do it and yeah and he goes into great depth depth um, on how let's say this is penciled um, and then there's a million ways to ink it you could do it like this you could do it like this you could do it like this and my my thing is just ink on paper because it's it's totally fun I will come to an end but I will show you let's say this like you will talk about line weight and that you start always thin and end with a thick line and you can do it like this and you will take a look at the anchors you like and um, yeah it will give you drawing the extra the extra thing because otherwise let's say the drawing remains this way it just stays flat and if you add 
line weight to it you can see already how depth is indicated and how you see that the light hits above here and down here is darker it's thicker and all of that and before we finish this video which has ended in a rumbling fest um, yeah show you some pages that I did like beneath here always blue lines and it's tons of fun to paint this I don't know if you can see it um, but yeah it's you can see the brush strokes right here and it's very satisfying it's not perfect the way I did but sometimes I get it right sometimes I'm not getting it so good and as you can see I'm trying my best it's also cool to use different um, like thick thick lines thin lines oh, up here um, and yeah this panel turned out good but uh, sure I definitely put in time into this and as you can see um, you will you will have original art and this original art could be sold could be displayed could be used to um, scan it again if you lose your things and I use this mostly I scan this and then I paint it in Photoshop but yeah and as you can see a different approach here as here uh, here I use my pencil brush pen and here I use my markers and I love the markers and yeah a lot of things this is also turned out really good and it's tons of fun so just start and use paper and then we will talk about paper quality and other stuff and yeah as you can see concept and then I don't know how did I do this I used the concept and I guess I used my light box here ah, this is a different approach like sometimes I, I yeah I love the light box I love using with uh, pen and paper but you should find your own workflow you never know what will suit you and um, it's a process it's a process also of becoming aware how you want to make comics how you want to draw it if it's digitally um, but so much or so far for inking the paper it makes the drawing complete and then you just color in the rest and yeah I guess I close it off here will this is Cargis a comic edit for the buff dudes I will print out uh, the issue so we can look through it and then we can look at the concepts or original art and how I finish the comic and yeah tons and tons of um, inked pages A4 um, I plan to do this on Bristol board in the future and it's just every page is tons of fun like um, it just is like and you will get better so I know this is a long video I don't know if I hit home the point but yeah if you're looking up to this point you're a real hero go ink your pages it's fun and you will make great stuff holy moly yes and I will get soon to making comics and to inking them and we'll see us